My name is Riaz Rahman. I'm an interventional cardiologist working with the Cardiovascular Institute of the South. I'm here today to talk about the cardiovascular manifestations from COVID-19 during this pandemic. As you know, COVID-19 is characterized by profound inflammation in the body and can cause multi-organ failure, including cardiac failure, renal failure, lung failure, and liver failure. It is also characterized by clots and thrombosis in the large vessels of your body and the small vessels of your body. Myocardial damage or heart damage can occur in 25% of patients with COVID-19 and risk your traditional risk factors for heart disease, including hypertension, high cholesterol, and prior heart attacks can increase the severity of COVID-19. So COVID-19 affects your heart in multiple ways. It can actually directly invade your heart muscle and it can also directly invade the blood vessels in your circulatory system, leading to clots, leading to heart failure and leading to inflammation of the heart muscle. The extent of cardiovascular disease is determined by how pathogenic or how virulent the strain of COVID-19 is, how weakened your immune response is, and what underlying predisposing cardiovascular risk factors you have. The most catastrophic complication of COVID-19 is that it can cause clots, clots to form in your legs, and which can then travel into your lungs to cause clots in the lung, called a pulmonary embolism. Clots can also form in the heart, leading to a heart attack, and COVID-19 has shown to cause acute myocardial infarction in some patients. COVID-19 and the, uh, and the stress on the body from COVID-19 can actually cause heart racing and, the, and malignant arrhythmias like atrial fibrillation, atrial flutter, or ventricular arrhythmias. And the stress on the body from COVID-19 is also shown to cause a weakness of the heart muscle cause, called stress-induced cardiomyopathy and can also cause cardi cardiac failure and heart failure. You can also get direct viral infection of the heart muscle, which is called myocarditis, and that can also lead to heart failure, which can have profound sequelae in the future. So if you or any of your loved ones think that you've suffered heart damage or heart impairment from COVID-19, please feel free to contact any one of your local cardiologists for further assistance and help with this matter. Thank you very much.